I need to start making beef braised short ribs the white people way because this is bomb.com, ask your mom. The other day, my husband was like, why don't you ever make this for me? And I was like, giggy Mike, I make you Korean braised short ribs galbuchin. But you know what? I was like, bet. I'll make you your beef braised short ribs the American white people way. You want it this way? I'll give it to you this way, daddy. <laughs> Flick the wrist. Flick the wrist, she said. I'm generously seasoning my beef short with salt and black pepper. Wanna see real speed? It's not even fast, that's embarrassing. <gasps> I was supposed to wash my beef ribs first. Oh well, oh yo, some love. In a large pot, we're heating up some oil. Back it in there, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. This is sees Andy doing. Once our oil's nice and hot, we're going to sear it for about five minutes. You wanna work in batches, don't sear too much at a time because it won't sear. Yeah, baby. Oh! My eye, AJ. Now that there's a nice press on all sides of our beef ribs, we're going to remove it. In the same pot, I'm gonna add my onion, celery, carrot, and garlic. Saute this for about five minutes. After five minutes, add tomato paste. Cook this for about two minutes. After two minutes, add red wine. We're gonna allow this to simmer until it slightly reduces. This is beef broth, thyme, and bay leaves. <laughs> I'm going to turn off my heat and add my beef ribs back in. I'm gonna bake this for two and a half hours. It's been about two hours. This looks like shit. We're gonna remove all of the short rib from the pot. Just be careful so the bone doesn't fall off. You are the weakest link. My pot, a strainer, strain this. Do you guys remember when I convinced Andy to buy me the strain? It was such a big deal because we told, I told him I was going to go in and not buy anything. Andy's such a sucker. For me only. He just loves me. What can I say? Right, Appa? You love me? You hear that? And simmer until it slightly reduces. This is just about reduced, I think. This is my beef sauce that I poured into my fat separator. The fat stays on top and the liquid is at the bottom. So this actually works out perfectly. She's a chef, baby. <laughs> this doesn't even look that good. It looks like a burnt lump of meat. Yo, Andy. Let's take a bite of this. Some of that sauce. 